Hello everyone. In this video, what we're going to do is get our character moving and uh, using an actual uh, sprite sheet. So I am on the site GameArt2D.com because I always love coming to the site and pulling uh, a royalty free uh, image of uh, sprite sheets. So I always kind of pick from one of these. I'm going to go ahead and just download uh, the Ninja Girl free sprites. It has all these different states. We're just going to talk about how to use idle, run, and, you know, just a couple of those. And you could go through the rest and actually implement those pieces. So uh, go ahead and just download this. If you have another sprite sheet, you can use this for any other kind of sprite sheet you want. And we're going to jump into our construct file and build it out. So I'm going to kind of set this up here where... We got double click, kind of go through the same process we tend to do when on some of the other videos. Whoops, I got my caps on. So let's go ahead and do that. First is a platform and let's go here, set up some sort of color. Color this around. All right, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and add a solid. And there we go. So and now let's go ahead and add our character. So I'm going to go ahead and do a sprite and type in character. And when I click in here, okay, so once we get here, the, instead of coloring this, what we want to do is add our sprites. So uh, take a look to the right. You see animations here, and then you see uh, animation properties. And then down here, you'll see animation frames. And then you have some color information here. So down here where it says animation frames, we are going to right click in this area and we are going to import frames. And we're gonna pick from files. So let's go ahead and click from files and go ahead and find your sprite sheets. And I'm gonna grab my idle for right now. So I'm gonna select all these. And the cool thing is it will add it all together. And this first one will say zero. So what we really need to do is just right click here and hit delete. And now we have, zoom out a little bit, there we go. So now that we have all our sprites here, it puts it into uh, this order here based on how you selected it. And now when you click on animation one, we could rename this. And since I picked the idle, I'm just going to call this idle for right now, and we'll leave the speed as is, but we're going to loop this. So we just want it to continuously go over and over again. So, you know, this is a, those uh, where like if you're not pushing any controls or anything like that, it's going to just play this animation. So let's go ahead and jump back out. So go ahead and click X. And wow, that is a very large character, but it's OK. We'll leave it as is for right now. And we're going to go to the event sheet. And what we're going to do is just have it set where if it's just plain idle when you're not holding down any buttons. I mean, uh, you're not picking any left, right uh, type of movement. Uh, let's go back to layout real quick. Let me just add my keyboard and my touch event. And there we go. So we're going to make this where uh, Right now, if I am not holding uh, a button, it's just going to do idle. But uh, right now, if I hit play, actually, it's just going to run idle. And notice how it's kind of slow, right? So if you wanted to speed it up, you could double click in here and change the speed here. And it's going to go how many frames per second. So since I have nine frames, maybe I just want it to do all nine frames within that one second. You click on it and you can kind of see how it's kind of smoothing out a little bit, right? Uh, if you really wanted to uh, see what 60 frames per second would do for this animation, you could do 60 and then you'll kind of see this, right? However, this isn't ideal for how many frames are actually drawn out here, right? So uh, there's 10 total frames. So you kind of want to keep it to something that makes sense for what you're trying to do, okay? So I feel like this is not bad. So I'm going to leave it as is. So now what we could do is actually go back and do the left, right. So we could do some of our logic. Okay. 
So now uh, we're going to double click here and now we're going to go into animations, right click, we're going to add another animation, go down to our animation frame section, right click, go to import frames from files and we are going to do, let's see where it is run. So I'm going to pick run here. There we go. Click open. Get rid of the first one here. There we go. Uh, rename animation to just run. There we go. Okay, and we'll leave the speed as is for right now. You can feel free to play around with it. But now we're gonna go to our event sheet and actually add an event where, in this case, uh, I'm gonna just do a keyboard. And when the keyboard is held down for right now, so if I hit the right key, I'm gonna hit okay, hit done. It's gonna, uh, I'm gonna now set the animation of my character. So inside character, there's gonna be a section here for animations where you could set the animation. And as long as you call it whatever makes sense, you could start from beginning, hit done. So now if I hit play, I'm in idle. And now when I hit right, I am running. Now, ideally, that's probably not fast enough based on how it's holding it. Um, but remember, I have this very large. If I shrunk this down a bit, let's see how it looks. Okay, still slow, right? So let's speed that up a little bit. And so click on run. And let's at least do a 10. Okay. And this is where you can play around with what makes sense for you. That's a little better, right? But notice how your character is not actually moving anywhere. So what we need to do is make it move. And this is where not only do you set the animation to run, you're going to click on add action underneath it and click on character. And you're going to scroll down to where you find your uh, platform. Oh, I did not add the platform piece to it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to edit behaviors. I want to add the platform behavior to my character. That way I can go back here and add my simulate control. And I am going to go right when I've pushed the right arrow down and go with that. Now, before we do all that, go back to layout and pick your character. Down here, you want to um, change the default controls. Okay. And so when you, uh, right here, if enabled arrow keys, control movement, otherwise use the simulate control action. So when you uncheck default controls, you actually get to control what you want. I'm just remapping it to what it gives you out of the box, but this is where you could do your WASD and all that stuff. Okay. So now that I have that, I could hit right. And now when I hit right, see how it's moving. Right. And when I let go, it stops at, a f at that frame. When we let go of the right, we want it to go back to idle. So what we need to do is do a conditional check to say, well, if the keyboard on key released, which key, the right key, I want to, I'm gonna just copy paste this, change my animation to idle. And so what this does is this just gives you the ability where you, when you let go of the control, it will go to an, uh, uh, an actual animation that makes sense. So now I'm running and then I stop and then I'm running and I stop and notice how like I'm falling in between here up and down. And the reason being is when you import some of these sprite sheets, if you double click here, uh, there's this tool right here. It's, it has a triangle here and this is your collision. Uh, and it's in the shape of a polygon. So it tries to shape your, this is like what it looks like at as the object that's moving around. And notice that there's this weird dip here. So this is where you're gonna see uh, you falling. It's not a perfect square per se. So what I normally like to do is just go here and then, you know, you could kind of make it where it goes up and down uh, and all that fanciness, but for now, I'm just gonna kind of make it where it's flat, just so then you can see that you won't see that dip as much. 
right? You, saw, you still see a little bit of a dip and I fell uh, while I was holding it. And that's just because of this isn't as flat. So I kind of like slid off, right? So if you're having issues with whichever one, just be sure you check this out. That way it fixes that problem. All right, so now I'm gonna click back into my event sheet and go, okay, well, I got my right going. Let's do our left. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it. Change this and set a right arrow to left arrow. And then right here, instead of pressing right, we're gonna do left. However, we need to do one more thing. What we're gonna do is flip our character. And there's a quick and easy way to do that. You add action, pick your character, and there's a piece called mirrored. And it'll literally mirror it on the uh, horizontally for you. And that's what we wanna do. So now when we hit play, if I go right, if I go left, I move. However, now I'm going backwards to the right because I need to go back here and add the same action to my right, except I want to say it's not mirrored. So click on not mirrored. So now if I hit play, you got it where you could go. You could go this way and it gives you that piece. Now notice how towards the right when I let go, I go to idle. But when I'm running, it's not doing that. Uh, so what you need to do is add your other condition here. So I, I always just like to keep these all separated while you're learning this and then you can combine it as you want. So now I'm gonna say, well, okay, if the left one is call idle. And so now when you hit play, you do left, let go, right, let go. It allows you to get those animations going. So this is kind of how you start doing some of your animation pieces and you can go ahead and uh, uh, try out those other ones to play around and get uh, whatever types of actions you're trying to do. The, the key to all of this is besides simulating it and labeling your animations, when you're in here, make sure you check out the speed, you try what makes sense based on what you have. And see, notice how this is all, this is why I'm so having issues. Like I have to make this kind of like here and then maybe I do something like this for the time being, right? So now you could have that, right? So then you just keep going with this and I'll probably increase the speed a little bit here just to test it out. But those are the things that you get to kind of play with and see like kind of like it looks a little, a little better, right? And you get to play around based on what you're trying to do. So a uh, quick recap, any of those cool sprites from Game Art 2D uh, in the freebie section, or if you want to purchase some, go for it. There's other places you can get it. I just like all the options you have and what you can do in here. All right, so uh, that concludes this video. So uh, I will see you next time.